good afternoon and welcome to another trip so as you can see behind me we are on the east coast so we've got a nice little spot on the east coast that we uh, we head to and uh, camp on the beach when the uh, the weather's good enough so it's a bit windy today but it's a westerly wind so we should be okay on this side so as you can see i've got rich with me so yeah the route today is very short it's only about two to three miles uh, just a couple of hours so it's not going to take us very long to get to the spot but it's uh, nearly three o'clock in the afternoon so we should be there for tea time and they'll get pitched up so as always i hope you enjoy the video and i'll uh, i'll see you on the way So it's nearly six o'clock and as you can see we're pitched up so due to the fact we're beach camping and uh, we need quite a, a decent frame tent i'm in my uh, lightweight g20 trek semi geodesic so it's got a good steady frame for pitching on sand plenty of guy points because as you can hear it is a little windy uh, it's meant to be gusting up to 30 mile an hour later on so need a tent that's quite sturdy so inside I have got my uh, E Revelation 30 Apex um, synthetic quilt. It's uh, good for when you're near uh, large bodies of water. Uh, you do tend to get a lot of uh, moisture and condensation. And as this is a full ripstop inner, there might be a little bit of condensation in the morning. So your synthetic uh, has no problems dealing with the moisture at all, not like down. Um, Thermores Neo Air X Lite because it's uh, not going to get very cool tonight. Um, I've got my North Face Thermoball body warmer and my Thermoball jacket and my uh, Montaigne Featherlight pants just in case uh, I do get a little bit chilly. I'll carry today my uh, my Arc Blast which was uh, very comfy. Uh, did about three and a half miles in total so yeah it was a nice walk along the beach. So Rich is in his uh, Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 with uh, a few mods a couple of mods on the uh, on the I suppose you would call it the uh, the roof wouldn't you vent, vent roof. yeah the vent roof um, so it doesn't flap in the wind uh, new quilt to try as well it's the uh, Cumulus 250 uh, you've got your X light yeah yeah and uh, I'll carry today in his uh, arc blast so as you can see we've got our chairs I've actually got my chair one with me which I don't use very often because it's heavier than my ground chair but I find on sand it uh, it performs a little better the uh, legs sinking and tend to hold where they are so other than it being a bit breezy we've got uh, beautiful weather nice and sunny and nice and warm and uh, we're gonna sit and enjoy these scenes for the night and listen to the waves life don't get much better well we've got a fox <laughs> Right, so as you can see, just about finished eating, and uh, yeah, it was rather nice. 
it's a uh, black dower rice definitely a taste better than it looks so rich what did you have a uh, spicy one yeah peri peri chicken bet his mouth a bit so he's uh cooling it off with a little bit of wine at the moment but yeah um as you saw just seeing there's a, a fox came wandering over into camp and just sat down and uh, rich thought it was a dog at first which is quite funny so all our rubbish is going to go over right in that corner and then we're going to collect it on the way out because we don't want it sniffing around the tents and uh, doing any damage Go to bed until quite late. It was about half past eleven, and then uh, we had to get up at half past four. But uh, yeah, it was a good night. Enjoyed the night, listening to the crashing of the waves. So we're not going to be cooking this morning. Uh, my mum doesn't live too far from here, so we're heading there for breakfast. So thanks for watching, and until next time, 